Hey guys, and welcome to another quick tip tutorial. Um, this time we're going to have a quick tip on how to keep a value of a form after it has been submitted. Now, um, what I mean by this is oftentimes you'll see on like a registration form, um, it'll ask you for your username, your password, your email, etc. Sometimes it'll have like a captcha or something like that. Now, um, this, some, if you, incorrectly enter anything, it will reload the page, however, and display your errors for you. However, most of the time your username, your email address, um, pretty much everything except for your password and the spam protection will already be there for you. And so, that is what we're going to be looking at how to do today. Um, first things first, we're going to make up a little HTML form here. So we'll just not worry about uh, validating our HTML today. It's just very bad practice, but um, just a quick tip, so I don't think it much matters. Oops, we don't need that. We'll go um, open up our form tag. We're going to have a method of post. I have a tutorial on how to um, handle PHP and HTML forms. Um, you can check that out if you don't understand what I'm doing here because I'm not explaining the actual form today. Um, we're going to have an action of a blank string which we'll submit to this page and we'll close the form tag down here. Then all we're going to do for the example is have them enter a name and it will keep their name. So we're just going to say name and break that down a line, put an input type of text. Um, uh, the input type is text. We will give it the name of name. And that's done there. And then we'll have input type equals submit. And we'll give it a value um, is equal to keep value. Now, uh, we'll close that. We'll refresh this page. No, we will refresh this page like this and you see oh I'm gonna break that down a line break you can see that the, no oh my god there we go you can see that this just submits back to this page right now uh, PHP isn't doing anything with it now the normal way that we would uh, check to see if the form has been set is using that the is set function so we'll go if is set uh, dollar underscore post name because that's the name of the field and if it is what we would do whatever so um, in this case we'll just echo um, the name so um, echo name fix the highlighting refresh continue and now we can go Dylan we'll enter at Dylan keep value you can see that we get Dylan up there so this is essentially the method we are going to use to um, store the value. Uh, this input can have a value field. And it would have, um, we can give it a set value. So for instance, I could give it the value of Dylan. And if we refresh the page, you can see that we get Dylan in there. By default, we can go back to it again. We still get Dylan. So what we want to do here is echo out the value if it has been set. That is to say we want to echo out the post variable if the post variable is set, which is exactly what we were doing here. So we can go if is set post name and this can all be done on one line so that we don't have things breaking down. Echo post name. Um, so basically If it has been set, we're going to echo out the name. That's pretty much as simple as it gets. Um, watch the syntax there for a little bit. It's confusing when it's online, one line, but it's actually exactly the same as up there. So we can refresh this, and you'll see that this will work. Um, I'll enter Kevin this time. You can see that Kevin gets restored here. If we refresh the page, continue, Kevin gets restored there again. Now, there is one problem with this right now, though. If I enter Dylan and then I enter um, a closing or a finishing quote and a bracket, you can go keep value. You can see that we get this output. Um, we can echo that. I'm not sure if we'll get anything there. No, 
that is fine because it just ends up ending. What is happening is um, since we're just echoing out plain values into there, we essentially give it a value of this. When that is echoed out into there, the form ends here instead. Um, in this case, it can be very dangerous, um, potentially, because this can give someone access to your form data or other s website data, and all in all, it can allow them to insert um, into your, or values into your um, form. So, what we want to do here is protect against that using the HTML entities function. So we'll just enclose the variable with HTML entities, H-L-E-N-T-I-T-I-E-S, and if we go back and refresh this page right here, and we echo Dylan this, key value, it returns us with that. All that's doing is it's turning this uh, symbol and that symbol, or any other symbols that are important to HTML, by the way, um, so for instance, I could do um, that one or that one and nothing would happen. If we don't have those, it's actually possible to, um, we could end this right here and then we could actually open up another uh, input type is equal to text and leave it like that, key value. You can see we actually get another text field here. So um, without HTML entities, it is very dangerous um, to do something like this, but HTML entities protects us, and that is how people keep values. They um, basically if is set, and then echo with the HTML entities. And I cannot stress how important it is to have that there, um, unless you want people totally manipulating your form data and inserting hidden values and just generally causing mayhem on your site. Security is the number one priority. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. If you have comments, suggestions, etc., uh, you can leave me a comment on any one of my videos, you can leave me a channel comment, or you can send me a message through YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching.